welcome back. Again, it's Brew Bacuin. Today on the menu, we are doing something special. We are doing pierogi, and if you've never had them, they are absolutely incredible. So what they basically are is kind of like a little Polish potato dumpling thing. It's a, uh, basically we're gonna do two different kinds today. Two. We got uh, mashed potatoes are going in one, and we're gonna do another one with sauerkraut. So let's get this started. For the dough to make the actual dumpling thing, we're gonna need two cups of uh, all-purpose flour here. We need a half teaspoon of salt. We got one egg. Half a cup of sour cream. Now this is what really adds a little bit extra to the uh, dough, makes it a little creamier, a little smooth. It's gonna add a nice texture to this. And then we have two tablespoons of uh, softened butter are going in here as well. So that's going in. All right, and then that's just all going in the stand here. Got our trusty dough hook. All right, we're just gonna put that on low here for a few minutes, let everything incorporate, and then uh, we'll be ready to put this thing together. All right, so you might need to end up taking a, a little rubber spatula here and just kind of working the dough off the side of the bowl so everything kind of incorporates there. Uh, we're about at the point we need it. Everything is pretty well incorporated. However, it's still super clumpy and, and uh, not really a dough at this point. So we're gonna put this out on the, on the cutting board here. And then you're just gonna wanna kinda knead this together. Just kinda squish it and make it, you know, to where it, it forms a solid dough instead of just a bunch of crumbly mess. Uh, once we're done with this, we're gonna throw it into, uh, we're gonna wrap it in saran wrap and actually sit it in the fridge for about a half hour and kinda let the dough come together that way. All right, now that it's all kneaded and nice together, we've got a little dough ball going here. Like I said, we're gonna pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. You can even do it overnight, uh, whatever you have time for. Uh, so we're just gonna wrap this up. We'll get it in there. In about 30 minutes, we'll uh, get these things going. Yum. <laughs> See you guys in a few. All right, and on to the favorite section of the day. Beer of the daytime. Today we are doing Shiner's Christmas Cheer, uh, or sorry, Holiday Cheer. It's a Christmas beer, seasonal. Um, it's from the Spotzel. I don't, I don't even know how you spell that. Spotzel. Pronounce that probably really wrong, but whatever. I was surprised by this beer. Usually you get a holiday Christmas beer and it's like dark and has a ton of cloves and spices. And to be honest, I'm not that fan of a, that style of beer. This one hit me with a whole different experience. It's got um, peaches and pecans. Yeah, really light, really refreshing, really tasty. It's got a, a sweetness to it that's pretty impressive. So uh, here, let's check this thing out. All right, if I'm gonna be honest, it's the first one I've had outside of a can, the first one I've poured, it tastes a lot lighter than it is. I thought it was gonna be a light beer. It's actually like an amber, it's got a nice, red hue to it it's actually really pretty uh, got a nice head to it you get a big whiff of the uh the peaches i think you can even almost smell the pecans in there somehow uh, smells really good cheers yeah like i said you get a ton of that peach flavor super refreshing for especially as how dark it is like i said i'm really surprised by that um this is actually a really good beer so uh Shiner's Holiday Cheer. Cheers. So here we go. Dough's been resting about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this. And then just to make it a little bit easier, what I'm gonna do is just cut this into half. 
just makes it a little bit more manageable of a size to use. And then we're going to need to flour the cutting board here, prevent everything from sticking. And then also I like to just kind of rub a little bit of uh, flour on the, uh, the old rolling pin here. And we're just going to try and flatten this out and get it about, I don't know, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch thick here. All right, so now that we got this completely uh, flattened out and thinned out here, you can use whatever you like, whatever size you want. I find that just a quart wide mouth or a, I don't know, a pint wide mouth uh, mason jar seems to be the perfect width here. So you just kind of cut it out of the dough. That is exactly what you're looking for, something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, since I said we're making two of these, we'll do two of these at this at this time right now. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the filling first. We got our mashed potatoes, just whatever recipe you have. These were just super simple. I made on the oven really quick, but we're gonna dump about a cup of cheese in with it. And that's just gonna add, you know, a lot more flavor and a nicer texture to it. So we'll just mix this up. Now that we got the potatoes ready to go, we're just gonna take this little cutout that we already have here and just kind of thin it out a little bit more, just give you a little bit more surface area to work with here. We went from about that to that. And then we're just gonna take a spoonful of the potatoes and put those right in the middle here. Now, what we do is just kind of wet one side with water of the dough here and that'll help it stick to each other and you just kind of fold it over and then once it's folded over you just kind of want to pinch pinch the edges together you know do a little little squeeze here all right and there you have it one potato filled pierogi the other one like i said we we're going to be doing is sauerkraut so with the sauerkraut, assuming I could open the jar, geez. There we go. All right, we're just gonna take this out and wring it as tight as we can and get it as dry as possible. So let's get to that. Okay, so now that we got the uh, sauerkraut nice and wrung out, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna kind of flatten this out a little bit more, just give it a little bit more room. And just kind of repeat. We're just going to throw a little bit, a little bit in the middle here. We're going to dip our finger and kind of coat the outside rim here to help this stick. Fold it over and just kind of pinch with your thumbs. All right, there you have it. Sauerkraut pierogi number two. So let me get the rest of these put together and then I'll show you how to finish these off on the stove gonna boil them until they are uh, a little bit cooked and then you saute them with some onions and butter and they come out just absolutely incredible so we'll see you in a few here we go time to put these things together what we have here is a pan for sauteing a pot for boiling let's get it going uh, we got a tablespoon of butter is going in here if I can get it off we're gonna get a tablespoon of butter going here with some diced onions uh i'm not really diced i just kind of cut them kind of thin you want a little bit of them you know so uh we'll get these sauteing we got the uh, stove here on medium we're just going to kind of you don't want this going too high otherwise the onion will burn try and saute these a little bit in the butter now over here you got the sauerkraut and the potato two of each we're just gonna boil these. These go straight in here. And the way you know these are done, they float. It's that, <laughs> that simple. They take about two, maybe three minutes, if that. And uh, once they get done boiling, we'll pull them out and throw them in the uh, sauteed onions here and uh, it'll be absolutely amazing. So as you can see now, we're looking good. They're starting to kind of float and boil around. 
these things are ready to go. So, kill the fire on this. Bring this over and throw it straight in with the onions. You're just gonna kinda wanna mix them around like this, get all the butter and goodness that's in this pot kind of uh, coating them. And then once you've had a mix, just let them sit a little bit, let them get a little bit browned, and then we'll throw some mustard, maybe a little sour cream. These things are gonna be a great dinner. Uh, you can serve it, we usually serve it with some kielbasa, which, you know, we'll throw it on the grill, a little barbecue sauce comes out great. But for now, I mean, this is a meal completely by itself. So, and by the way, that recipe that I made, made about 20 to 25. Uh, I'm just doing four for right now for myself. And to be honest, I don't know which one is the sauerkraut, which one's the potato. So I guess it's a surprise. Everybody likes surprises, right? These things are done. So this is exactly what you want to see in this. You got a little bit of browning going on with it. Uh, it's going to get a little bit of caramelization to it. it the flavors on this, the potatoes and the sauerkraut that are in the inside are just going to be great. So we're going to add a little bit of these onions on here. We got some sour cream here. We'll do this on like half of these. Sour cream's not cooperating. And then we've got some uh, homemade stone ground mustard going on here. Now, I'd like myself some really spicy mustard on this. It just you know, breaks through a little bit of the creaminess. And there you have it. Homemade pierogi. These things are gonna be great. Let's try them. Mm. You get the creaminess from the, that was the potato one by the way. You know the creaminess from the potatoes and the cheese, the dough is just the way you saute it with that butter absolutely incredible let's see if i can figure out which one's one of the uh sauerkraut ones here yeah first try lucky me now the sauerkraut being as sour as it is you get with the sweetness of the dough and the, the butter you get some of those onions on top I'm telling you, this is one incredible dish, one that you everybody should try. I know a lot of people don't really know what it is. Definitely make it, try it. Thank you again. We're barbecuing. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate any thumbs up, any comments. We're always welcome. Uh, you guys, cheers.